Sir James Dyson has been designing innovative new consumer products since the 1970s. And now his company is betting big on their newest product, the Dyson Zone. Sir James himself stopped by Fast Company's office to talk about his passion for manipulating airflow in interesting ways, what he's learned from his mistakes, and to give us a demonstration of the new product. Well, my very first product was about hydrodynamics, an interest in water and air movement, and the effects was with me from the beginning. And it's enabled us to do products you might not have thought of, like a very interesting hand dryer. And of course, with the vacuum cleaner, it's paramount what the air is doing everything. When we started, we got rid of the bag. They never biodegrade. And then we realized that because we weren't losing power, we could afford to start with a smaller motor. So we were very keen on air movement and we make incredibly small, very powerful, very effective, very efficient electric motors using one tenth of the power. We should be using far less electricity. And take our hand dryers, for example. They use one tenth of the electricity of the old hand dryers, which relied on high airflow and lots of heat. Ours has no heater in it. We scrape the water off your hands. So we are 700 watts and they were over 3000 watts. It's these sort of solutions that are gonna make things possible in the future. We've got to use less electricity. Scientists and engineers will solve all the problems. We've just got to give them the space and allow them to do it and the encouragement to do it. So the Dyson Zone is obviously aimed at filtering out pollution. Why is that an important issue for you? Chemicals like formaldehyde, benzodiazepine, things that come out of car engines, cause all sorts of things. Obviously breathing problems, but also cancer and heart attacks. The automotive world, and actually governments, were telling people there's nothing wrong with vehicle pollution, nothing wrong at all. So we went back to developing our devices that collected particulates in vacuum cleaners, but also we started devising something to go on vehicles to collect the, the vehicle exhaust pollution. Now, as it happens, we were very successful with the vacuum cleaners, but people weren't interested in collecting diesel exhaust or particulate that came out of, of internal combustion engines. But um, the technology there gave us zone. So often a failure gets you on a particular road, which gives you another product. It provides through the mask here and the fans and filters here, it filters out all that pollution, the, the gases and the particulate. And then what you breathe in here, without this touching your face, by the way, like conventional face masks, it provides you with actually cooling um, and pure air. So you breathe in pure air. And you also, if you're amongst other people, you're not taking in the germs, which is rather nice. The zone is aimed at keeping pollution out on an individual basis. How do you think we need to think about expanding, keeping people safe from pollution from an individual case to a larger case? Well, there's, there's two things to do about that. I mean, one is obviously to go to electric cars, but they've got to be a lot better. They've got to use a lot better batteries. And we've developed and are developing new technology batteries. We're just building a factory in Singapore to make the first one. So we've got to get batteries much better by a, you know, a logarithmic order not just twice as good, they got to be 10 times as good. And we want to be the first people to get there. You wish you could have wonderful feedback before you launch a product. And you can have some feedback because you can try it out on people in different countries in underconfidence. But there's nothing like actually producing millions of them and getting that sort of feedback. And it's wonderful and it, it can come in various forms, but it can trigger a whole new development and a whole new idea as well as a solution to the issue they're raising. I wish people would complain all the time because it enables us to get better and to come up with ideas that, you know, we might not have come up with otherwise. <laughs>